Oh, boat coming, boat coming, come on. boat coming. No, it's not saying. Yes, it is. Oh, it's come you, on. isn't it? Oh my god, he's coming <laughs> down the <laughs> fucking river and find a legend! Oh my god! Hey guys, how many times has this happened to you? You have a bag, and well, they're all on timers. You hit escape and you move your user interface all the way to the lowest setting to get more bags and well, you guessed it, they're all on a spawn timer as well. There is a little trick that I have recently learned that I thought I'd share with you guys. So changing this user interface back to 1.0 and going into your console. If you type in respawn sleeping bag and then the ID for your sleeping bag 58433 Now I can't spawn there because it's on bag timer right now. You can't spawn there if it's on bag timer. But to get that ID right here 58433 Let's just spawn at this top bag here. If I hit it with my rock and damage it. And then I type in console combat log. One event in the last 10 seconds. That is that is the event of me hitting the bag. Right here is your sleeping bag ID 49082. Now if you take, say, a piece of paper and you can write down the quadrants of where you put the sleeping bag and then the ID next to it, you can have unlimited spawns across the entirety of the map. You can use a Google document, a notepad on your computer, or just straight up pen and paper. I hope this is very helpful to all of y'all and thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe if you don't mind. Let me try this other one here. And just like that, at another bag I had further away from the others, I spawned. Also, another little quick tip. If you have one kill, you can't random respawn with this amount of bags you have. To random respawn, you just simply type in respawn. And that is a completely random respawn. Thank you again for watching the video, everyone.